Welcome back to another game of War Thunder. Today is going to be about the Panzer IV. Uh, the only tank to see service from start to end of World War II. And the last battle it took place in the Yom Kippur War, or the Six Day War, in the 1960s. Uh, this tank is definitely a workhorse. Uh, around 8,500 were built, including the variants. It didn't really break that down. Uh, look into it later. But the variants are pretty cool. There's the Sturmgeschütz 4, like the Stug 3. I don't think they have it in this game. If they do, I missed it. Uh, and then, of course, the Jagdpanzer 4, which I have shown off a bit in earlier videos. Uh, there's the Werbelwim and the Ostwin anti-aircraft tanks, and the Grumbar, which is a mortar firing tank or a rocket, I don't know, the Sturmtiger, which is like the Brumbar, fires a rocket, but I've never used the Brumbar yet. Uh, Nashhorn, uh, essentially a Panzer IV with a nice big 88mm on it. Uh, we'll get some action here, T-34. Uh, yeah, a nice column going down here. Just follow these boys up. Uh, Alright, so the Panzer IV is sporting the KWK-40, a 75mm cannon, uh, licensed because Ryan Mattel made the Pack 40 a anti-tank gun that could be like on wheels and field artillery, and uh, Krupp who made the turrets for almost every tank uh, didn't want to pay a competitor to build for them, so they, well, I, they did pay for the license, but they built the KWK-40. Got a nice kill there, oh, Comet trying to peek around the corner. Oh, man, he's just dipping back. Let's try and get this guy here. And of course I hit his cover instead of him. Pile of rubble. And okay, I wish I had that kind of track repair. Jesus. Blew his track right off and he's pulling back again. Now you're in the second wave. Yeah, oh great bombs. Yeah, so Panzer IV served in every battle of the not not every battle, sorry, every theater the Germans fought on the Western Front and the Eastern Front and North Africa. Uh, they lost about seventy five percent of all Panzer IVs, which isn't a bad number as bad as it sounds, so all the other tanks I believe have done worse. Uh, like there's only one running Tiger 1 and one running Tiger 2, but people seem to have Panzer IVs in their private collections, as well as running samples in museums around the world. Uh, yeah, anyways, the Yom Kippur War. Syrian army had acquired uh, Panzer IVs from France, which were refurbished in the early 50s, and from Spain, I believe. Uh, then the Israeli army essentially captured a handful of them, uh, one, which one of them got traded to Virginia for, for Stuart, Stuart Tank. I thought that was an interesting story. Uh, 
can't remember much of it off the top of my head other than it just like being a straight trade. Uh, but yeah, there's tons of museums around the world. And okay, so this is the Panzer 4J, the last produced Panzer. Uh, they took out the hydraulic turret rotating mechanism, so it's being hand cranked, uh, and they took the skirts in off, or didn't even bother putting it on the size of the tank, but they did get the turret, uh, which is, yeah, that weird looking thing that makes the turret look more round than the horizontal platform. Uh, Yeah, I'm trying to sneak around in here. I thought I was being clever, but then I get outranked. I'm not sure how the battle system works here because in World of Tanks it's two above and two below, but here uh, they use a battle rating instead of tiers. So it doesn't matter what tier you are, your battle ranking will see X number higher, X number lower. And instead of just being one solid number, this one's a 4.3. Panzer 4H, which is a bit sturdier, has a 4.7. And IS-1. Come and take me out. Thought he would be a higher rank. Way too high for me to see, but I was wrong about that. And I can't seem to get a penetrating screen right on that target. And when I get, I'm dead. Yeah, so I just got this tank. It's still. Still trying to upgrade. Uh, right now I have the parts, fire extinguisher, and now I'm working on the horizontal traverse to get as much as I can out of that because it's all hand -tank. I really dislike having one cap thrown in these games, so you can't turn it off, but I prefer to stick with three. This gives you variety of the map. Slow that turret to versus. Alright, I saw you. I saw you. Kind of you kinda come pop out somewhere and I'll get you. Well, come on, come on. Aww. Oh. See, that would have been a kill if you had normal sized rounds. Ducking away. Trying to see if I can arc shots over. And let's try and get this guy. And I'm shot from the side. Oh yeah, I'm done. Did not pay attention to this little pocket here. Of course it doesn't show me what happened to my shot I sent off. This is a decent map. I quite like it. I don't always go one way, I go either C or B. I do not like A because it's a tunnel and a bridge. 
have. It's just like a free or, or a choke point, really. Yeah, a choke point. And it's just no fun. You, you get killed right away. Or you're just sitting around waiting for something to go by. Nice because I'm hauled down. I don't hurt to be exposed to these guys. Damn. I did not know its armor was that thick. I thought it was 80 millimeters. Just like a normal Panzer IV. That's a bit weird, but I did hit the mantle. The mantle always has a bit extra padding on top of the uh, turret armor. Man, this guy just won't die. Just a driver left. Yeah, so to tell a Panzer IV from a Panzer III, because they look pretty much identical, uh, you count the road wheels on the bottom, that are, yeah, the bottom wheels there, and divide by two. Panzer IV should have eight of them, which will get you four, and then the Panzer III will have six of them, which will give you three. But there's also the return wheels up top, Oh no, this one only has three. Three return wheels up top. So I guess that one didn't move, just the bottom one. Uh, okay. Coming around the corner, trying to get these guys by surprise. Buddy, we got him already. See, he's firing at somebody. I don't think I noticed that. And he's playing in. Yeah, like the great up little red dot is here. So it looks like there's somebody parked right behind the church. But I like these lower rank battles, even though I'm just getting kicked today. Let's see if I can get this KV2. A T34 down there got a nice shot with my uh, assistant driver. A radio operator, bow gunner, whatever he is. Pretty sure the Panzer IV never the commander operating the radio in the later models. Wow, this round is no good if it can't go through the side of KV-2. Alright, that was a good shot. Really? The weakest part of the roof? Yeah, during World War II, the tops and bottoms of the tanks were the weakest points. Um, almost every country is fixed since then. And especially with main battle tanks, they have like your hatch with an extra hatch. I wasn't sure if he's coming back to me. Did 
Yeah, there's a lot of theories out there. Uh, Panzer IV, if Germany had just stuck with it, they probably could have at least held off the Red Army. Maybe even won. I don't know for sure because there's more factors than just to one tank could have turned the tide. But their production numbers, instead of being 8,000, could have been like 80,000. And for one Tiger, you could have made three of these. But I do like the Panther. Maybe if they, uh, you know, merged the Panther and the Panzer IV together, which would have looked like a T-34, so I guess that's probably why they stuck with this design. Oh, just missed a bad turret traverse, and he's gonna get a shot off. Yeah. So it wouldn't even mattered. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you want me to play. I'll do my best to make it the next video if I have it. And catch you on the next one.